Welcome to another Holiness Meeting from the Trinidad and Tobago Division, including St. Vincent and Grenada. We are glad that you have joined us once more and pray God's blessing upon you.
Welcome to another beautiful service. I invite you to join us as we do our call to worship. How good and pleasant it is for brothers to dwell in love and unity. God is love and there is no deceit in him. Now is the moment of grace. This is the hour of blessing. Today is the day of salvation. Here is the path of, to new life. Already joy is abounding and love is flowing. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. God is love and there is no deceit in him. Trust in the Lord at all times. O oh people, God is a refuge for us. God is our rock and our salvation. We shall not be shaken. God is good, and in God's work we find our strength. We sing of all God's wonderful works. We give thanks and praise to the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. Praise God in the heavenly assembly. Let us give God praise and thanks for his mighty works. Rejoice in our God, give glory to his holy name, for God is love, and there is no deceit in him. Praise the Lord, sing to the Lord a new song on this new morning and in every moment of our lives. Gracious God, from generation to generation, we praise your holy name. God is love, and there is no deceit in him. As he opens his hand to all, satisfying the desire of every living thing. Let us open our hearts so that we might share the gifts we have received from him. Let us worship God in gratitude and in joy. Today is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us be glad this day for life, for bread, and for freedom of worship. Blessed are you who come in the name of the Lord. We come to offer our gifts of praise and gratitude to the King of creation. God, beyond all praising, we worship you today and sing the love amazing that songs cannot repay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless his holy name forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We now invite you to sing with us this beautiful song, God's love is sufficient for me. The first verse says, God's love is as high as the heavens. God's love is as deep as the sea. God's love is for all kinds of sinners. God's love is sufficient for me. God's love. God's love, God's love is sufficient for me. Today we are going to focus on God's love and we invite you not only to sing with us but to experience God's love as we worship today. God's love is as high as the heaven. God's love is as deep as the sea. God's love is for all kinds of sinners God's love is sufficient for me Beautiful. 
God's love brought his son down from heaven. God's love let him die on the tree. God's love, it can never be measured. God's love is sufficient for me. Hallelujah. God's love brought his son down from heaven. God's love let him die on the Let us pray. Eternal God and our Heavenly Father, we are indeed grateful for another beautiful Sunday morning where we can come and worship you, dear God, in spirit and in truth. We are indeed grateful for the gift of life, and we are grateful for journey and mercies that we have got here safely, O God. We thank you, dear God, for those who are listening, O God, and we pray that you will bless them. And we pray that as they listen, O God, that their hearts will be stirred by something that is said and done, so that at the end of the service, they will say it was truly good to be in God's house. We thank you for the leader. We thank you for everything that will be said and done. And we pray that your blessings, O God, will reach us wherever we are, dear God. We thank you, God, for your love and your grace and your mercy and for all that you have done for us. And we continue to bless your name, dear God. Give us a day of wonders. Give us a beautiful day together, dear God, as we worship you, dear God. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. I worship you. I worship you. 
Indeed, I give God all the praise, all the thanks, all the honor, and all the glory for His goodness towards me. And according to Psalm 118 and verse 24, it says, This is the day of the Lord's victory. We will be happy. We will celebrate. And today I want to celebrate Jesus Christ, who is the Lord of my life. I'm happy to give my testimony about the goodness of God in my life. You know, I'm a retired officer of the Salvation Army, but God is using me in a very special way, even in retirement. So I give him all the glory for that. You know, in my neighborhood, there is a little boy who I would always hear, you know, his parents telling him, I don't know what to do with you. I don't know what else to do with you. Your teacher is tired of you. I am tired of you. Everybody's tired of you. And you know, as I would listen to this, you know, it will hurt my heart. And I said, you know, as God knows and everybody knows, I'm a person who loves children. And I said, I said, this can't happen. I have to do something about this. And you know, I asked the Lord. I said, Lord, what can I do to reach out to this child? And the Holy Spirit told me, make a chart, a well-behaved chart. And you know, I made this chart. And it so happened that one night while I was coming in, I saw him in the middle of a ring. His mother was there, his siblings were there, and his cousins, they were there. And he was in the middle of the ring with his vein popping out of his neck, how he was so angry. And I went forward and I, I held his hand and I said, what is happening with you, son? And the mother said, I'm just tired of this child. I'm just tired. The teacher's tired. I am tired, the aunt is tired, everybody's tired of him. And you know, as I listened to what she was saying, my heart was broken. And I said, he is just a child and I need to do something. And so I turned to the mother and I said, listen to me. Are you willing for me to work with this child? I said, you can do anything you want with him. And I held his hand. I said, are you willing to work with me? He said, yes. I said, well, what we are going to do is that I am going to reward you for good behavior. I said, are you going to work? He said, yes. And so I made my chart. I gave him the chart. So every day he will take off. When he behaves himself, he will take it off. He will get his points. And I will be scoring him as well at home. And so he got his first reward. He got his second reward. But it wasn't after days or after weeks. It was after months. So a few weeks ago, he got another reward. And so when I called him and I called his mom and I told him, I said, I was listening out. 
I didn't hear you fighting, I didn't hear you quarreling, I didn't hear your mommy quarreling with you. And so this is your reward. And he was so happy. His mom was so happy because he's trying his best. I told him, I said, you pray, God is able to help you. Jesus will answer your prayers because he loves you. And this child was so happy to get his reward. But you know the thing that touched me most of all? is that one day, he, a few days ago, he was playing with his friends. And one of the little boys decided to tease him. And that little child walked away. Could you imagine him walking away? And when it was brought to my attention, I called him. I said, what happened? I said, you don't want to get yourself into any trouble. He said, no. I said, I'm so proud of you that you were able to walk away. Can you imagine God helped him to walk away? And so today I give God all the praise, all the thanks, because God is helping him. And he is improving in his behavior. So I want to encourage you. Maybe you are around somebody, some child, who, you know, people believe the child can't make it, or the child will not be able to amount to anything. You are God's representative, and God is depending upon you to go and do what he wants you to do, to reach out and touch that child. And so, I just want to give God praise and thanks that even in my retirement, God is using me in so many different ways. And I would like to sing a song for you all. God bless you. There are people living in the world out there. They need you, they need me, they need Christ. They are children crying and no one to care. They need you, they need me, they need Christ. And they'll go on hurting in the world out there. And they'll go on in despair. And they'll go on crying that unless we care. They need you, they need me, they need Christ. There are people living who would rather die. They need you, they need me, they need Christ. And their Christian neighbors simply pass their minds. They need you, they need me, they need Christ. There are people sitting by a silent phone. People cold and hungry, people left alone. So we sigh. For reasons that remain unknown, they need you, they need you, they need Christ. There's a prostitute and there's a prisoner too. They need you, they need me, they need Christ. There are alcoholics. Who won't look at you? They need you, they need me, they need Christ. They compulsive gambler dreaming of his yacht and the lad that's stealing just to get his shot and the girl that's pregnant and pretends she's not. They need you, they need me, they need Christ. They are runaways who want a place to go. They need you, they need me, they need Christ. They are alcoholics who don't seem to know. They need you. They need me, they need Christ. There are godless people who have lost their way. And they need God's love, but they're afraid to say. 
we close our eyes, perhaps they'll go away without you, without me, without Christ. There are godless people who have lost their way, and they need God's love, but they're afraid to say if we close our eyes, perhaps they'll go away without you, without me, without Christ. We're going to be singing a song at this time. These are the days of Elijah. Says, Lord, I lift your name on high. Show us 
the cross to the grave. From the cross to the grave. From the grave to the sky, Lord. I'll from the cross to the grave. From the cross to the grave. From the grave to the sky, Lord. I lift your name on high. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord, today. worship you oh my soul rejoice sweet holy spirit sweet heavenly dove stay right here with us and fill us with your love
the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, friends. We ask you to join us by taking up your Bibles. We are looking at 1 John chapter 4. 1 John chapter 4, and I'm reading verse 7 to 11, and I'm reading from the New Living Translation. Dear friends, let us continue to love one another, for love comes from God and knows God. But anyone who does not love does not, but anyone who does not love does not know God, for God is love. God showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only son into the world so that we might have eternal life through him. This is real love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. Dear friends, since God loved us that much, we surely ought to love each other. This is the reading of God's word. Share, this morning I want to share with you on the topic, God's love. God's love. There's nothing so immeasurable or as important as God's love. And yet his love is so misunderstood by man today. God is love. Do you really understand what that means? Have you ever considered the magnitude of what that statement, of that statement? Let us consider God's love. First thing we want to look at it, God's love is unconditional. Some years ago, Donna Summers penned these words in one of her songs. Give me your unconditional love, the kind of love I deserve the kind I want to return. This is what one human asking of another human being to give unconditional love. And we know as humans that sometimes our love is not unconditional. There are conditions. According to the Mer Merriam Webster Dictionary, the word unconditional means not conditional or limited, absolute unqualified. This morning we are reminded that God's love is unconditional. First John 4 and verse 19 says, we love him because he first loved us. And the verse reminds us that it was not because we love God that God loved us, but it's because of God's love for us that we in turn gave our love for him. God's love is in no way influenced by anything we say or do. So it doesn't matter what we say or what we do, God still loves us. Amen. Ephesians 2 verses 4 to 8 says, God who is rich in mercy for his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in sin, has made us alive together with Christ. By grace you are saved, and has raised us up together, and made us sit together in the heavenlies in Christ Jesus, so that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourself, it is the gift of God, lest any man should boast. We are reminded and that who we are and what we do does not discourage God from loving us. So I want to say to you this morning that you may be in a position where you feel you are not loved, where you feel you are not wanted, where maybe you feel that you are shunned. I want to say to you this morning, God loves you because God's love is unconditional. Nothing about us makes God love us. You know, there's nothing special, but he loves us, he created us, and he loves us unconditionally. You know, there are times when 
we are friends and they love us because of what we can do for them or they love us for what they can get from us. God is not like that. He sees us, he looks down at us, he knows us, and he gives us his unconditional love. God doesn't love us because we are valuable. We are valuable because God loves us. And I want to repeat that. God does not love us because we are valuable, but we are valuable because God loves us. 1 John 4 and verse 10 says, In this is love, not that we love God, but he that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation concerning our sins. No matter what your life has been like, he still loves you. How much do you love God? God's love is unending. And as I was preparing this, I remembered, of course I learned as a little girl, God's love is like a circle, a circle big and round. For when you see a circle, no ending can be found. And so the love of Jesus goes on eternally forever and forever, I know that God loves me. God's love is unending. Jeremiah 31 and <coughs> verse three says, the Lord has appeared of old to me saying, yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn you. God's love is unending. It doesn't have an expiry date. You get a credit card that has an expiry date. You have medicine, medicine has an expiry date. But God's love is unending. God, God's love for us is from eternity, without beginning and without ending. Ephesians 1 verse 4 and 5 says, He chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame, before him in love, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, by which he has made us accepted in the beloved. Those who know the love of Jesus can boldly quote Romans 8:38 and verse 39. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels or demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height or nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. You know, the first time I read this verse, uh, it was very confusing. But you know, as I grew in the love of Jesus, I can say with confidence that nothing in this world can separate me from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. God's love is unending. Finally, God's love is unchangeable. The word unchangeable means not liable to variation or able to be altered. We live in a changing world. Policies change, laws change, the way we do things change. During this year, many things have changed because of the COVID-19 virus. We are reminded that God's love does not change. One course writes upon these words, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. We are reminded 
you know, things change. But God's love remains constant. It does not change. You may have a, a dress and it, and it gets too big for you. You can take it to the seamstress and get it altered. It can be changed. You can have a pants and you can change it into a skirt. But God's love does not change. It remains constant. Malachi 3 verse 6 says, For I am Jehovah, I change not. Because of this, you sons of Jacob are not destroyed. And James 1 and verse 17 says, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of light, with whom is no variableness, no shadow of changing. People change. Situations change. Governments change. But God's love remains the same. The chorus of song 419 our song book says, For his love remains the same. He knows you by your name. Don't think because you failed him, he despairs. For he gives to those who ask his grace for every task. God plans for you in love, for he still cares. We are reminded today that God's love is unconditional, unending, and unchangeable. We look at what is happening around us, and the way we do things are changing. The new normal is that we have to wear masks, sanitize, and practice social distancing. Some people have adapted well, and others are still struggling. It's good to know that during all, that, all of this, that God is love, and that does not change. I want to repeat that. In spite of everything that is happening around you, it is good to know that God is love, and that does not change. Psalm 668 in the Salvation Army songbook says, After trust has known betrayal, all for hopes were vain, but there's one in every trial, constant will we win. Like a rock makes dashing billows, holding fast its place, Jesus is in all life's sorrows when we trust his grace. Do your duty, shirk it never. Leave the rest with God. Stand your ground today forever. Victory through the, through the blood. Yesterday, today, forever. Jesus is the same. We may change, but Jesus never. Glory to his name. As you go through this week ahead, no matter what comes your way, be reminded that God's love is unconditional, unending, and unchangeable. We may change, policies may change, laws may, may change, the way we do things may change, but what is constant is God's love, and God's love never changes. May God bless you as you go through this week. And be reminded, no matter what situation you find yourself in, God is love. Amen. Friends, it is good to know that God's love is unconditional, unending, and unchangeable. A beautiful song from the Salvation Amun Songbook, written by one of our general, says, don't assume that God dismiss you from his mind. Don't assume that God's forgotten to be kind. For no matter what you do, his love still follows you. Don't think that you have left him far behind. For his love remains the same. He knows you by your name. Don't think because you fail him, he despairs, for he gives to those who ask. His grace for every task. God's plan for you in love, for he still cares.
Don't assume you cannot give what he'll demand. Don't assume that God condemns you out of hand. For he gives to those who ask his grace for every task. Don't think that God will fail to understand. For his love will remain the same. He knows you by his name. Let us sing. Let us pray. Father God, indeed, we thank you for your unchanging, your unconditional, your unending love that spawns humanity, mankind, in spite of our failures and our weaknesses. We thank for that love amidst the storms of life. That love remains unconditional. Father God, we thank you, God, because you continue to put your arms of love around us to protect us amidst the uncertainties. I pray, God, that you continue to bless us. We thank for your word to our heart, words to our hearts. We pray in Jesus' name. May the grace of Christ our Savior and the Father's boundless love with the Holy Spirit's favor rest upon us from above. So may we remain in union which each other and the Lord, and possess in sweet communion joys which earth cannot afford. Amen. Amen. Kampu 
Yeah. 